This video popped up in my recommendations and I thought I had to check it out. It's called Brits Try Australian Fish and Chips. How is it better? Now, I never knew there would be any difference between Australian fish and chips and British fish and chips. Obviously, being from the UK, I just love fish and chips. Fish, chips, mushy peas, salt and vinegar. Awesome. So, I want to see what Australian fish and chips is like. How it's different, if it is different. Uh, tell me what you think about Australian fish and chips. Uh, compared to British Fish and Chips if you've tried it. Uh, and I want to see how it's better. You can tell me if you agree with this as well. Let's watch. Before today's video, we have a short little message for you guys. We've just come back from a massive holiday. But even though it was a holiday, <laughs> we still filmed, obviously. Of course we did. Obviously we filmed. And we hung out every day because obviously we do that. <laughs> We're always together. <laughs> anyway, this holiday was in Australia and we have some great content coming up from Australia. So stay tuned. So I hope you enjoy. Enjoy today's video. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. I'm Andy. And today we're going to be trying Jolly Fish and Chips. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was trying to work out what Jolly and Andy would be. Oh, Jandy. That just cuts me out of the equation yeah, completely. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's fine. <laughs> we're in Australia. Andy, yeah, we you've joined us out here. I have. You having a good time? Yeah, I was until the sun went in pretty much as soon as I arrived. I know. <laughs> it's like as soon as we decide to film a Fish and Chips episode, they're like, English weather. <laughs> well, maybe that's why we're feeling the Fish and Chips. It's Maybe. Just, it feels yeah, like hope. It feels like hope. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And it does feel we're kind of traitors. It's our national dish, and we <laughs> come here. From my experience, at least. I think I actually know the national dish of the UK is chicken tikka masala. So it's actually like Indian heritage food is now our national dish, but of course, fish and chips is still very popular. Fish and chips in New Zealand and Australia is way better than in the UK. Also, I don't like trying new things. Way better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. This is apparently the best local fish and chips in Australia, and you I'm excited. Fruits? It looks legit. It looks amazing. All right. Tell me how fish and chips is New York, please. Hokey. Maybe that's like a local fish. The hokey pokey. It's not the hokey pokey. What's your like most popular menu? The chicken burger is the most popular thing. Oh. It's a fish and chip shop. Wow. Well, we should get one chicken burger then. I didn't Plot see that twist. coming. Whoa, deep fried Just Mars bar. Deep fried Mars bar, that's like the Scottish national dish. I had no idea they sold that in Australia. Everybody always mocks me for that being like a Scottish delicacy, you could say. $4, four Aussie dollars. I'm just in shock that they actually sell that in Australia. Have you ever tried that before? I hadn't actually tried it until about three or four years ago, so most of my life I never tried it. Scottish people don't really eat it, but I went back to Scotland from Asia, and I was with my wife, and we're like, she was always asking me, can we try that, can we try that, and like, it sounds disgusting, man. I tried it, and actually, it wasn't too bad, man. It was very sweet, very sickly, but it's fried chocolate, man, what do I expect? Uh, but yeah, tell me more about fish and chips. What type of fish? Obviously in the UK we use cod, sometimes haddock. They mentioned another fish here. I've never heard of holly, hockey, is it? All right, thank, thank you. you very much. Oh baby, there's a reason it's famous. We got fish burger, chicken burger, grilled hockey. Never heard of that fish, but I'm up for it. Battered hockey and a battered hake and a deep fried Mars bar. See, this is the reason why I go to the gym five times a week <laughs> and I'm still a little bit overweight. <laughs> yeah, this is the reason I'm about to off. start going to the gym tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that fish, that it looks really good. Looks amazing. Amazing. Looks good Lovely, thank you. Oh yeah, we have a grilled one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. See you guys, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow. my gosh. You may have noticed I have like a kilogram of chips. That me. would kill me. I mean, that is a big portion. The chips look slightly different to British fish and chips. British fish and, or British chips in a chip shop are usually like thicker, chunkier, but like very soft. These ones look thinner and a bit more fried. Uh, both different. These ones look, but I mean, that's plentiful anyway. No. <laughs> well, you don't have to have just chips by the Just stop eating them. We haven't even flipping egg. That's so good. You're guys. allergic. He, you know what their problem is. I'm Everyone at home, no one understands it. A couple of chips and he'll actually be fine. The tipping point is very soon after that. It's and about so it's now. Right, halfway about through now. the third chip. Now he needs chip. to stop, but once he's started, it's almost impossible to stop, right? Okay, this, Ollie, this is chicken salt. Chicken what salt? What is chicken salt? <laughs> 
have no idea. <laughs> but apparently... Like salt collected by a chicken. No, uh, <laughs> what? Apparently it's a thing here in Australia. It's like a really classic Australian thing. You get chips with chicken salt. Tell me if you've tried that before. Chicken salt? So what is that? I guess it's salt with maybe like some ground dried chicken or something. I don't actually know. It looks like I've, it's the bottles here. So it looks like some sort of seasoning. But chicken salt, it does sound good. I would definitely try it. Tell me how good it is. Does it really add a lot of flavor to your chips? So I'm gonna go half go. chicken. Whoa, it's yellow. Maybe it's like chicken flavored salt. All right, let's give it a go. Yeah, it yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is better than normal that salt. That is so good. Chicken salt is better than human salt. Yeah, <laughs> human salt. <laughs> Next up, we got that. Okay, man, that could be a game changer, man, because I love salt and vinegar on my chips, but getting that extra flavor from the chicken salt, Mm, Grilled hooky. Oh, that already look looks. Look at that chunk of meat. Better quality. There's many than herbs. Any in England, fish I feel like salt. what we flavour our fish with is literally just pouring on salt and vinegar. Well, you probably could get this in England, but not in a fish and chip shop. No, you, no. Get, you get it in a, in a, restaurant. a restaurant. Yeah, it looks okay. too fancy for a British fish and chip shop. Mm. Oh, There's a lot of flavours going man. on. Mm. Like a bit of tomato. That is a good, right. Right. healthy option. A bit of lemon, that's all it needs. Oh, I would come to fish and chip shops regularly. It tastes delicious, but it doesn't feel like you're killing your body. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what fish and chips does. You feel like you're dying slowly. <laughs> that is the perfect description, man. Every time, before you go for fish and chips, I usually have this craving. I'm like, I just need grease, like batter, anything. In Scotland, we also have battered hamburgers battered haggis, battered fried uh, black pudding, everything in the chip shop you can get, man. Like, fried pizza, that is that is actually good. My mum and dad think it's disgusting, but I think it's the best. This looks healthier than anything you would get in any Scottish or British fish and chip shop. It looks good. Mm. Okay, I'm mm. loving it. Mm. That is good. The meat is just so tender. All right, next up, we still got lots more to try. Two more types of fish. Fish and chips. We've got to have the fish. It's really golden. Yeah, it's, it's a golden very nugget. Golden. Very golden. Oh, and this is... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Guys, look oh, at that. Wow. That Incredible. batter is so soft and smooth. Good. Yeah, mm. it's amazing. Wow. Mm. The batter's cr like crispy, crunchy it's on the like outside. It's like smooth but crunchy at the same time. Super soft on the inside. I don't know how they've done that. This is what fish and chips is supposed to taste like. It's not drowning in grease. You fry it. But it's not soggy. Yeah. I feel like this in England, this would be like gourmet fish and chips. Yeah, Next up, we have hake. Do you guys mind if I break this in half with my hands? Go for it. I really have an urge to I do that. Oh. Wow, that looks good. Oh. Look at that fish meat. It's just so fresh. It looks thick. so fresh. So meaty. It literally looks like it just swam up a tube out of the sea and straight into the All fire. Right. I feel like <laughs> finding Nemo too many times. <laughs> we found Nemo. Yeah. And he is yummy. This is the sad <laughs> alternative ending. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. oh my That's God. more meaty. The meat is even softer. Yeah, it's like, it's. yeah, you're right. It's chunkier. Can I just say as well, the chicken salt chips go so well with the fish. Chicken and fish, oh, no. you don't normally have them together, mm. right? I guess chicken not. Chicken and chip, no. But we're about to, we're about to have a chicken burger. Oh, yeah. No, chicken okay. burger with chicken salt chips, that's going to be amazing. Mm, that does sound good, man. I need to try that chicken salt, and maybe they'll sell that here in Malaysia, I could try that. But already, just by looking at the fish, it does look better. You can tell it's less greasy. The batter is like perfectly battered. Sometimes the British fish and chips, the batter, it's just like that thick off the top. There's just chunks of batter. I do enjoy that, man. This one looks like, as they say, it looks more gourmet and fancy. So this is the chicken burger, which is apparently what this place is most famous for, even as a fish shop. I'm excited. Oh, oh look at that. Oh whoa. my God. Whoa. That looks so good. That looks incredible. It's like a painting of a burger. <laughs> Dude. It's like all the colors are perfect. Seriously, it's like they photoshopped it and up the saturation. Yeah, like hashtag filter. Look at that chicken fillet at the top there. Yeah. Wow. That's, and then here. That's delightful, man. Oh. 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 That fish fillet burger. All right, the... let's do I'm it. going in. Chicken Tell burger. us what you think, Andy. Mmm. Mmm. Come on, come on, come on. I yeah, mean, I, I kind of expected you to say that. Mm. Yeah, but it's like the chicken is really soft, well, succulent, and there's something a little bit spicy in it. Oh. I don't know what it is, right. but it's really good. Can I just say, normally, yeah, if someone is like a fish and chip specialty, you don't go in and order a chicken burger. You can't do two things that well. Mm -hmm. 
Australia, well played. Yeah. The fish is incredible. I'm convinced. The chicken burger is incredible. The fish burger surely is going to be incredible. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. I think this is even better than chicken. Fish burgers, don't go there. Normally, yeah, I in any other situation, someone offers you a fish burger, you ask if they're crazy. It's fresh fish that's like lightly breaded, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's lightly breaded. Instead of battered. But then whatever else they've put in here is really good as well. Yeah, all the, the salad sauce. works perfectly with the sauce. London. London, welcome. London. <laughs> wow, Wait, okay. what did she say? She yeah. said, welcome, you're at the best shop. I mean, that is like the Aussie friendliness, man. Just stopping the car, shouting at people, being super nice. That's when you know you're in an awesome country, man, when people are just like super welcoming. I like Wait, that. so this, this, this chip shop is so good that random strangers drive by and literally <laughs> congratulate you on your choice. Literally. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, there's one more thing. What? Did we order anything oh, else? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this is the main event. I'm ready for this. And I'm not going to lie, it looks amazing. Like a deep fried turd. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Ollie, rewind. We need some explanation here. This isn't a normal thing to appear on a restaurant menu. Yeah. What is in Scotland? This is a Explain thing. to us, Andy. If you go to a lot of fish and chip shops in Scotland, you can basically take something in and they will deep fry it for you. Really? Yeah. And out of that came the deep fried Mars bars. Yeah, I mean, that might not be so, so the case these days. I've never actually did that. I don't know anybody that's ever did that. Maybe back in the day, that's how it originated, the deep fried Mars bar. And whoever did that was definitely drunk. Some genius was like, can you deep fry this? Hi. And they were like, okay. So now they sell deep fried Mars bars. And now bars this is a thing that's slowly spreading around the world. shops. Whoa. <laughs> Surely it's going to be hot. Oh. <laughs> Look at that! What? That looks incredible. Is it really hot inside? Yeah. Is it like molten lava? Yeah. That? I'm excited for this. amazing. All right, Andy, go on. Ah. Is it really hot? Oh, mm, look at that! We can't get around the fact it looks unbelievably disgusting. Yeah, but it tastes pretty good, actually. The sweet and the savoury is like the perfect mixture. It's sugar and fat. I mean, it's basically ice cream. That is literally a deep fried Mars bar. I don't even know if you have Mars bars where you live in the world. Basically a Snickers without the nuts yeah. and a little bit of nougat. <coughs> that is something mm. else. I would die an early death if I lived in Australia. Or Scotland. Seriously. I would come here <laughs> at least once a week. This place was full of people on their lunch break, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think if I worked near here, that would be me. You could start quite a successful business as a doctor there. Right next door. Just give people checkups and be like, oh my gosh, we need to do a lot of work. Keep going there because my business is going to, you know. It's going big. Keep, keep, huh? <laughs> the fish, you could tell was super fresh. Really I don't know what they're surprise. doing with the batter, but it's not damp with grease at no. all. You know what? It's similar to Korean chicken in that way. Mm. And, it's, it, mm. and it, we haven't solved it in the same way we haven't solved fried chicken in the UK either. That's so true. It's fried chicken in England and fried fish are fairly similar. They're just loaded with grease and yeah. a bit soggy. I feel like in England, you don't have to make an effort to make it good. It's just such a tradition. People just do it. Yeah, people you don't have to make it, it's not good. It yeah. will sell itself. Whereas here, I, I reckon it's less of a thing. It's, it's like Christmas songs. They're awful, yeah, they're but terrible. we listen to them anyway. You can write a half decent Christmas song, you make a load of money. Because every year, because everyone just has play to the same to songs, songs at Christmas. That's true. Exactly. All right, it's well, we've sold it. You've heard it. Here. You heard it here first. <laughs> English fish and chips <coughs> is basically a Christmas song of food. If you want uh, actually good songs, then come to Australia. This is the Mariah there Carey. There is some good Australian Christmas Wait, songs Christmas as well. Song. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everyone's really We're a little bit of high on fish oh. batter right about now. This has been a very, very jolly fish and chip meal. A very jandy Christmas meal. Oh, Christmas meal? Fish you and chip meal. Um, they cut me out. They cut me out. There's no uh, Ollie in any of that. All right, guys. We'll see you jolly soon. Okay, man, that was good. That was actually quite interesting. So yeah, from looks, obviously I never tasted it, but by looks, it definitely looks higher quality than British fish and chips. Tell me if you've tried both of them, see if you can have a comparison, what you think is better. What do you like about Australian fish and chips? Is there anything you don't like? Tell me more about that chicken salt. I need to try and find that and try that. I love chips. I like to season them, man. I like to get extra flavor. I need to try that. Tell me more about that. Thanks.